They don't like the direction the city is going, so they packed a planning commission meeting to do something about it. Many who attended tonight's meeting have lived in Royal Oak for decades, and they fear the city is quickly transforming from a quiet single family community to a busier condo community. Kimberly Gill was there, and Kim, they are passionate about their neighborhood. Karen, they are passionate about their neighborhood. They do not want to see a new proposed condo slash townhouse unit being built in their community. They say it would do nothing but cause problems, problems in terms of traffic, in terms of noise, in terms of what it would do to the infrastructure. And they say the city is not listening to their concerns. And they pa packed this meeting tonight to talk about that. And here's what happened. The area in question sits here at the old St. John's United Methodist Church at Midland Boulevard and Rochester Road. It's just north of 13 Mile Road in Royal Oak. It's a quiet neighborhood and people who live here say they want to keep it that way. Let me ask, how many are opposed to this? Would you stand? At tonight's meeting, a couple dozen people okay, stood in opposition of the proposed 28 townhouse multiple family dwelling. Have you asked the fire department? Have you asked the police department? What are these high density projects doing to them and their response times? In response to most of our concerns, only vague and generalized answers have been given. And if this project happens, residents say they would be the ones left bearing the brunt of everyone else's good fortune, including businesses with increased customers and the city that would benefit from the new property tax revenue. The material benefit to the city is only being measured in dollars and largely ignores residents' quality of life. Now again here, the big issue is they feel like their voices are not being heard, primarily because they say the city needs the tax money and they want that tax revenue, so they're being ignored. As far as what happens next, that remains to be seen. We are live here in Royal Oak, Kimberly Gill, Local 4.